I hear her yell, Mike, Mike, I'm in the hole. And there she is, up to her neck, submerged with garbage. Oh. Uh, stuck in a cesspool for oh. hours. That was the husband of a Suffolk County woman describing his wife's ordeal and her rescue. Oh, that poor woman. Well, the 77-year-old woman suffered some broken bones and is recovering in the hospital. It happened yesterday afternoon when the ground suddenly gave out in her backyard. Eyewitness News reporter Stacy Sager is live in North Babylon with the story. Stacy. Well, guys, she was stuck in sludge in her own backyard for more than three hours, and she spent today in surgery at Good Samaritan Hospital. Now, the good news is she will recover, but her family certainly wants to know how this happened. I woke up, and I'm looking for her. I can't find her. But Mike Biancardi tells us his 77-year-old wife, Joan Sparacino, was nowhere to be found late Wednesday. Their backyard oasis, a joy for the couple with waterfalls, pet fish, even turtles, suddenly becoming a nightmare. In fact, Joan may have gone out to feed a turtle when the unthinkable happened. And uh, I hear a yell, Mike, Mike, I'm in the hole. And there she is, up to her neck, submerged with garbage. Joan had somehow fallen into their cesspool after the ground underneath gave way. Volunteer firefighters from several departments racing here, setting up a tripod and a harness to hoist her out. The part that collapsed, like there's a little ledge she was able to hold on to and keep her head above water. That's the only thing that saved her. Yeah. Mike says his wife is dedicated to helping him with his well-being, providing his dialysis, which is why he feels so concerned about not getting to her any sooner. It's concerned. She's hurting. Joan was taken to Good Samaritan Hospital with a broken leg and a black eye from falling debris, but perhaps the worst part? They had a stripper and washed it down at the hose, and I took one look sludge all over her chest. How long was she sitting in that sludge? Over three hours or more. Over three hours? Yeah. <sighs> Overall, just a, a pretty horrible situation. Now, Mike Biancardi tells us he did have the cesspool service just a couple of months ago, or else the situation could have been even worse. That is, the sludge could have been even deeper than just several feet. He also just doesn't know how this happens. He wonders uh, if the recent drenching rain played a role. The town has now tagged the house as unsafe while the cleanup and the investigation continue.